Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazeas from The Automator, and I'm really excited to announce this new course that we have. It comes from, you know, for years and years. Actually, Isaiah, switch to that other document real quick. Okay. Now, in 1998, like, I created this, most of this file, which has stayed the same that long. Like, that's how good it was, right? <laughs> um, I created it because I would see my colleagues and classmates at my undergraduate school really using a PC like a typewriter. Like, it was really hard to watch them work. And honestly, I spent roughly 20 years in corporate America, and most of my colleagues ever, even though I was in tech, they all just didn't grasp basic stuff and, and have training on it. And I think I, I was a little different because I just, I wanted to learn it because I wanted to be more efficient. That's not how yeah. most <laughs> But um, yeah. so we created a course outlines to show you the things that really level you up, right? They're, right. they're stuff. And it's kind of, if you've ever heard of the compound effect, it's a book from Darren Hardy. He talks about how small gains over time really pay off, right? Because they add to your your skill and your learning and how fast you are. So this course, it's about four hours long. Um, it it baby steps you through how to use like how to speed up your work process. The really great thing, each one is going to be a little nudge, and we can review here some of the stuff that's in the course. Um, right. It's a little nudge in the right direction of making more efficient. And you're going to like, well, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal, but it's things you do. Yeah. All day, right? The funny thing, yeah. The funny thing is that once you get used to one of them, like you will get annoyed when other people don't do it. Like it happens to me all right. the time. There's right. one of them, like um, yeah, the, uh, this this one right here. Uh, yeah. These views on drop downs, clicking the first letter would we'll jump into an item, and that means that if you start typing, for example, if you have a list view, for example, Explorer. During Explorer, you start typing. The the selection jumps to wherever you want. You don't have to scroll, right? And <laughs> Every time I see somebody in Explorer scrolling thousands of files, I'm like, dude, you don't have to do that. Like, Here's another one, it. though, <laughs> like right in here, where if you select, you want to select a word or move to the right, use uh, control to the left or right, you know, or even right. double click. So we talk about all these little things that help you use a computer much more. They level you up. Like if you've ever been around watching someone else, like one of us, I'm not bragging, right? But you, you're like, what? What did they do? What like, did they, and somebody, know. some people have asked that, like, what, what did you do in that part of the video? They just, uh, when when we're in the hero call or in the hero chat, they sometimes say, hey, I saw that you did this in in one of the videos. How did you do that? Um, we decided, hey, let's grab some basic stuff yeah. that um, most of them might be completely obvious to you. But even me, I have been using PCs for more than what 25 years now and um recently i learned that you can use windows b to jump straight into the taskbar or something like that it was i don't remember right now but it is that was, one of them. That, that I was like oh i have never used that and now i found myself in certain situations that instead of having to because my mouse is not clicking for whatever reason and i know that it's an auto hockey script then i have to use the keyboard how do I jump there without having to that? Well, that is in the list of built-in hotkeys that we're going to show in one of the sections, right? So we have a few sections. We have the keyboard, the keyboard shortcuts, navigation things. That's kind of like a topic that has to do with selection, moving around, uh, scrolling, stuff like that. File and form folder management, you know, shortcuts, moving stuff around, uh, moving files around. Changing Explorer to to be a little bit easier to use, basically. Um, selection Explorer, that some things that people don't know that you can do, right? Um, especially the customizing shortcuts to make them have your own. I can. I, I think you do that very often, though, right? They have a lot of shortcuts that have their own icons and stuff like that. Yeah, built into Windows, you can assign a hotkey to that shortcut, which it's built into Windows, and most people don't know that, but it's a super easy way to do that. Right. Then we talk a little bit about system customization. There's a lot of basic stuff like um, moving the monitor into the setting the monitor and portrait landscape, DPI settings and stuff like that. Um, virtual desktops, at least we, we, we go over the basics of that. Not many people use that. You know how many people I've seen that they have one desktop and they have all their programs open in there. And when they're working or doing something personal, everything's in one place. I don't do that. I have two desktops, one that is personal and one that is actually um, um, uh, something that is work-related so that I don't have all uh, in one place. And hold on, uh, that next one, though, because that's the snapping of docking windows? Oh, yeah. 
it's in Windows uh, 8, I think it started, at least some of it, and then 10 and 11, and, and 10 and 11, they got really good at, at making right. it easier to move, to have them stick around, especially with now that a lot of monitors, you get one monitor instead of multiple, it's yeah. really core to be able to do that. Right. We touched a little bit about power management and performance. They're, 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 they go a little bit into some advanced things, not really deep into that. So most of the courses for people who have no experience with Windows whatsoever. I was going to say, everything that you talk about is, is very clearly explained and it's simple to do. So even Right. Like, and it's most, most of the videos, they take less than 10 minutes each. So they're very short. Um, these three, though, they... They touch a little bit with the command line, but you don't have to um, remember what to do. You just copy paste and you can do that. It's not a big deal. Um, we do have some additional tips in here, and we covered a little bit of Office programs like um, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all of them. They have certain things that are common between them that we thought is a good idea to at least address them because, so again, fun. there's a lot of things that people supposed to know, but... There's so there's so much information out there that it's impossible to know everything at all times. So we wanted to kind of create this little um, uh, course to have some things around as a and, and I, if I remember right, you created a cheat sheet yeah, file that, there, that right. basically is going to be good for you to. Um, I have the have a reminder, right? Yeah, to print it out, put it on the wall, and because. Until you memorize them, if you right. don't have it in front of you, you forget them, and you gotta force yourself to memorize them. And then just use the one you know you'll you'll find some of those that you use all the time. You memorize them because you use them all the time, right? And the other ones, hey, if you don't do it, it's fine. At least be aware they're there, right? And they're an option, and that's part of the hard part. So yeah, so I'll put the URL up here and where to get it. It's um it's not nearly as expensive as our other courses because it's much more of just I want this to everyone to get this course, like compared to. Our others are very, very specific. Um, this is much more broad. So that's right. check it out. Um, hey, get your ask your employer to pay for it, right? Because the thing is, a lot of people are really worried about AI taking the jobs. And this is just going to help you be more efficient, which allows you to say you're worth more and kind of stem that where, where people are. Touching really on that point. Yeah. Touching on that point. Everything that we're talking about in here, AI cannot do it. Because these are things that are in the computer. The, the, AI cannot control your computer yet. <laughs> you have to manually do all this, right? So uh, everything that we're covering here is just things to make your life easier and yeah. make it a little bit more productive. But there's, there's, I think his ace is right. I mean, I when I went through the course, I was editing it, some of the stuff, and I picked up little things as well, right? Which right. it's like you said, no one knows at all, and it's just a nice way to you know, put it in the background and listen to it. If you're more you know, intermediate to advanced, you can still learn stuff from it. Uh, but for those of you that are very, very new, this gear, this is geared to anybody can go through this course and learn a lot of really helpful things. That's right. Cheers. Bye.